This is Arts and Culture, a history and appreciation of visual and performing arts. The Romantic Era, Goya's 3rd of May. If Romanticism is about emotion, then Francesco Goya's 3rd of May, 1808, is definitely a romantic painting. When Napoleon's armies occupied Spain in 1808, Goya's countrymen hoped that the conquerors would bring reform. But the French troops themselves turned out to be barbaric. The Spanish citizens were in despair, and Goya emphasized their fear and hopelessness in his painting. He used all the elements of art, especially color and value, to highlight the terror of the execution he depicted. The light and dark contrasts amplify the intensity. The balance of the painting is asymmetrical. The action is way over on the left side with so much of the scene fading into vast darkness. The point is not to be pleasing to the eye, but to appeal to the emotions. In a way, Goya also uses the elements of drama in the 3rd of May. Here is a cast of characters, with the doomed Spaniard at the center of the stage, right in the spotlight. There's a clear contrast between the exposed posture of the prisoner and the hidden faces of the soldiers taking aim. Another thing you might notice is the geometry of the painting, the triangular patterns that anchor and stabilize the work. And one way the shape is used to elicit emotion? The outstretched arms of the Spanish prisoner recall the arms of Christ on the cross. And adding to the emotional impact? The perspective. Goya brings us in at eye level. We're spectators of the awful scene, witnesses to the injustice. This is how the elements of art and design all come together in a piece of art as something greater than the sum of their parts. The 3rd of May is not just a study in color or contrast or shape or line. It's about larger ideas, and it's as moving and powerful as any great work of religious art.